Hey there YouTube, I thought I would make a video of my recent purchase, which I purchased last weekend. This is a utility trailer, I paid $200 for it as is. Needs tires, uh, needs new wiring, needs new taillights. The guy was asking $250 for it, this was at an estate sale. Um, and I told him I'd give him $200 for it right now because it needed work. And he was okay with that. He just needed the price stuff to sell because um, it was a family ran estate sale and of course the family needs of course the family needs to get rid of stuff before they sell the property property of course this hitch pin this was just to get me home uh, there was no hitch pin that came with it um, I tried finding an adequate pin in the garage at the sale but couldn't find a pin so I just settled with that eye bolt and the wing nut that tire is flat. Um, it was flat at the sale, but the guy aired it up for me so I can get the trailer home. There's no fender on that side either. This fender, however, has seen better days. The frame pieces that hold the fender on, they weren't the best metal, and of course, they're rusting. So I'm just going to cut this fender off. I might make new, I might make new fenders out of this... Um, wheelbarrow tub here. I got this idea last weekend when I was trash picking. I found that. I scored that. And later on at the sale, I went there I went there I went there during the second day and um, I happened to find the spare for the trailer. That is good because I think the reason why that tire is leaking is because the rim is bent a little bit. I'll later I'll later find out. Yeah, this tail light has uh, seen better days. At least it's whole. That other side I smashed yesterday because this bracket on the other side was bent. So I just took a hammer and I pounded it back into shape. And of course, here's the wiring end. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to get new wiring for it. Um, Harbor Freight sells wiring kits for 15 bucks. 25 feet of it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this garden hose here and I'm going to fish the wire through the garden hose to the back so the wiring stays protected in the weather and I'll silicone the ends shut. The gate of the trailer I took into work last week, the metal shop teacher reinforced it. It was cracked on this side. He uh, welded a steel plate on the crack, and plus this this corner was loose. He uh, reattached this bracket here, this angle bracket. Didn't do the best job, but at least it holds. And he tacked it right there. Um, he um, he welded the bottom of it, but not the top. He probably forgot about it, but that's all right. I'll just. Fill this. I'll just fill this in with the Harbor Freight welder in the garage. And originally the gate was held on with uh, bolts. I just cut the bolts off. And at work I found these clevis pins which were pretty awesome. And I went to the local hardware store and I got like four washers and two of these uh, clips here. So that way if you need to remove the gate you could just pop those pins out easily and reattach it. And do you like my new gate holders? I had I came up with this idea yesterday. Originally, the gate was um, held up with a bicycle kickstand and a half-inch socket socket extension. So I found these in the trash yesterday, and I was just like, these will work. They're great. And the grade of the trailer, um, it was coming apart in some places and the shop teacher tacked it onto the frame. The floor of the trailer is solid. That second plank um, is cracked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go underneath the trailer and screw up um, a couple pieces of wood or just a plank or a scrap piece to bring that plank up. 
and then I'll screw it into the top to to reinforce it. But otherwise, the floor is solid. And yeah, uh, this is my $200 trailer. Compared to what I've seen at mark on marketplace, uh, I got a pretty good deal on this one. Um, a trailer like this in like newer condition on marketplace, it could go as high as 1,500 bucks. Of course, these uh, metal this me these metal plate pieces right here. There's two on each side. These metal pieces and plus these wooden pieces are not original. I think this trailer was just a bare bones trailer. And whoever had it, the guy that had it, just uh, needed to haul some yard waste or uh, gravel. And he needed to enclose the trailer so no gravel could spill out. And this weekend I found these chains too, which are pretty awesome. And yeah, um, this is my newest score. I was debating on getting a trailer for a while because I'm not a spring chicken and to, and to load heavier stuff in the bed of the pickup truck, it gets kind of awkward sometimes. And plus, a couple times in my life I uh, almost threw my back out and I really don't want to do that. This way, with the trailer, I could just um, move the gate down and just load the scrap in easily by myself, rather than lifting it into that thing. And yeah, um, this is my $200 trailer. And if I ever did decide to sell it once it's fixed up, I probably could make a little profit on it. I don't know but yeah it's gonna come in handy sometimes and that concludes the video bye